Good morning, good day, good evening, wherever you're at. Um, this video is something that I'm going to be talking about in East Coast News. And it's um, a story about a woman that has not seen her child for about 25 years. And this is due to her, this woman's domestic rage. And I believe from what I know is she's just... She's got the devil in her. I don't know what, how else to explain it. But this woman could have been serving 40 years in jail for stabbing the children. No, not the children. The father on who she had children with. And then proceeded to harm one of the children. She kept one of the two. The other child went to be with the other parent. Now, they had to go to court. This was about a decade and change of arguing and, and the attorneys taking her money because the other gentleman was actually employed by the state and working with the state, you can't have absolutely no criminal record. But being a father, you have a dick, you're automatically guilty and dispensable. You're trash. You could be chucked. Pay attention to that, gentlemen. Make a long story short, she, oh, I can't see my child. This lady threw her child out of a moving vehicle and said, if you so much tell your father, I'll kill you and kill him. Now, being a baby, you leave grammar school, early grammar school. The child is just traumatized. This woman would hit this child who had already underlying health conditions with a closed fist. If I was there, I hit her with a closed fist and a bat. But that's another story. Through all this trial and tribulations, all this hell that she put her children through, she managed to talk to her older child and convinced them by buying materialistic things like a brand new car at the age of 30, never worked. When he did want to work, the mother only had him to work 10 to 15 hours a week. So she had him mentally abused. This, is, this child doesn't know that, but because he grew up in that environment and never wanted, the mother never wanted the child to be around the father it was like second nature, I guess. But to get back to the abusive wench, 25 years go by after all this abuse, after all this court, after all this money wasted, I believe they lost almost a uh, half a million dollar home and all these other things. And she did not want the half and half deal. She let the house go over the waste. The bank took it. The children was left with nothing on the street. Okay, when I say the street, they ended up in the street. So 25 years later, everybody goes their own way. They start their own life. This child has grown up, has meaning things going into having, uh, coming up in her life. And she feels a little bit empty because both parents should be there. The father of the child makes an arrangement and decides to go along with it because I think it would be a good idea if this person changed. If this person changed. If this person changed even a little bit. Here's where the kicker is. She claims the so-called female mother okay, claims that she's changed. Well, her son still not working. Her son still does not know what it's like to be on his own. And I believe he's now and must be in his late thirties. Has no family, nothing. Just likes to play with cars. And this woman has not changed at all from the issue with the son. It's, it's one of those husband son sick deals going on. And then you figured that she would be happy to meet up with a daughter and talk. Nope. 
this woman started where she left off 20 something years ago and this poor daughter reaches out to this monster this daughter of Satan and totally flushes this chance down the toilet and can you believe this child is still hanging on now you tell me where the hell is the abuse on this goddamn female okay and you court people whoever the hell you're out there and you're listening to this you should be ashamed that you're doing this goddamn job because you're part of the problem you're part of why America is shit because you're removing the fathers out of the homes so then you control the family and you indoctrinate it in your public schools but that's that's just a little bit of what the problem is but the problem is here that between the government and using females and you females are being used like lab rats and you don't know it just because you're getting free money free apartments but as you can tell, the world's changing right now and you're gonna be part of the change. You're gonna be burning up by what the government has for you. So ladies, if you don't go back to the home and the divine order of God, God over man, man over women, women over children, that simple. If you can't follow those damn rules, I'll be in heaven. Make sure that you know where the thermostat is in hell. Change. Because it's up to you. Don't wait for the goddamn government to do it. East Coast News.